and welcome to Getaway. On tonight's show, we're going to take you to the top of the soaring Swiss Alps. We will cruise the crystal clear lake of Lucerne and put on our glad rags and saunter through the uber exclusive towns of Gestad and Montreux. So settle in, fondue not go anywhere, because we are about to serve you up the very best of Switzerland. Switzerland is nestled between France, Germany, Italy, Austria and Liechtenstein. Perhaps having so many neighbours is why this country has long had a neutral policy. I'm going on a bespoke Swiss journey with Scenic that can be added seamlessly to the beginning or end of a luxury river cruise. Welcome to Zurich, Switzerland's largest and most cosmopolitan city. Framed by the Alps, it's a city built around water. It has two rivers that run through it, a picture-perfect lake, oh, and the other thing that flows through Zurich, lots and lots of money. Zurich is by far the country's largest and most cosmopolitan city, and a scenic guided tour is a great way to get your bearings. Patricia, everyone is so elegant here. That's the proud of the Swiss, to have a nice look, because the stores that we have around us, they're presenting the beauty. When I arrived here yesterday, I came for a walk down here in my gym gear. That was really embarrassing. <laughs> no, I would not worry no, about well... that. The Bahnhofstrasse is Zurich's downtown, filled with boutiques, department stores, and of course, Switzerland's famous banks. But Zurich isn't all flashy banks and fashion labels. Its old town oozes Swiss charm. I feel like you could put on some really good walking shoes and spend hours walking around here just absorbing it all. I have to admit with those cobblestones, it's more comfortable to have comfy shoes. High heels won't work. <laughs> How old? is this old town. Around 2,000 years old. And the buildings that you see at the moment, they're around 500 years old. Are oh, they young? I don't. <laughs> it's nothing. Zurich is regularly recognised as one of the world's most livable cities. And strolling around, it's easy to see why. It's time for lunch, Livinia. Yes. Any objections to fondue? No, I fondant. <laughs> You're gonna hear so many of those jokes over lunch. You can't visit Switzerland without getting a fondue fix, the Swiss national dish. Oh, German, okay. Um, Rudolf Köhler fondue mit glana schatziger kassa. Bitte. Super. Oh, you actually understood what I said. So only one fondue? Yes. Peter, he speaks English. Fabulous. <laughs> no calorie counting allowed. Oh, wow. Bubbling hot. Just enjoy the that? pleasures yeah. of hot, yeah. melted cheese. No. We take the bread and we put it on our fork. Now, important is that it doesn't fall off the mm -hmm. fork because when you drop it, you as a woman, you're forced to kiss one of the men somewhere here in this restaurant. Do you know what? It would be worth it for this fondue. <laughs> OK. And do you know what my rule with this is? Don't do anything that I wouldn't fondue. <laughs> <laughs> All scenic journeys include some free time, so for me, that means a visit to another Swiss icon. As if Switzerland isn't one of the most fabulous countries to visit anyway, it's also the home of chocolate. Rivers of chocolate. In fact, the smell is amazing. I wish we had smell of vision The Lint Home of Chocolate features a nine-metre chocolate fountain and takes visitors on an interactive journey back to the origins of chocolate. So this machine is what we have to thank for yes. all this incredible chocolate. Yes, this is the chocolate before the invention of the Conchi machine. So this will be bitter? Yeah, and also a little bit brittle because the crystals were not worked out completely. It tastes like it has sand in it. How did anyone eat this? <laughs> this is not nice. 
Thankfully, Swiss pioneers like Lindt, Nestle and Toblerone revolutionised chocolate making into the delicious product we know today. Oh, Barbara, you go ahead. I'll, I'll just be a little while. <laughs> mm. Oh, my goodness, that is amazing. Am I allowed one more? A ticket to the Lindt home of chocolate gives you a lot of free samples. So that might have been a little bit of an amateur mistake back there at the chocolate fountain because there is more tasting to come. Chocolate and orange. My favourite. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be here a while. <laughs> so won't you come through? We can go in. Welcome back to Getaway, where I'm in stunning Switzerland, enjoying a handcrafted journey. The perfect extension to any scenic river cruise. For a country renowned for its mountains, it's easy to forget how many lakes are here. It's estimated there are over 7,000 lakes in Switzerland, although admittedly some of them are the size of a small puddle. But the lake here behind me is simply stunning. It's Lake Lucerne. Lucerne is about a one hour drive from Zurich and it has a completely different, more laid back vibe. If you've got an hour free, I can highly recommend a boat trip on Lake Lucerne. It's just so wonderfully Swiss. It's clean, it's natural, and it's surrounded by beauty. What do you love about living here in Lucerne? The history, the seasons, the four seasons, everything is so close. Back on dry land and Lucerne itself is, like all of Switzerland, a really safe and relaxed city to explore. Being a neutral country, Switzerland is great at building bridges between people, but can I say they're also just great at building bridges. Ursula, there are a lot of bridges in Lucerne, but this one has to be the most famous. That's the famous chapel bridge um, with a water tower. And the chapel bridge was built in the 1300s. Sadly, in 1993, the old bridge burnt down, destroying centuries-old paintings that used to adorn the walls. They tried to reconstruct it, but at the end they decided they are going to use the painting we have, and that's what we still have on the bridge. With so much natural beauty in and around Lucerne, you might be surprised that one of the most visited places in the city is a monument of a dying lion. So why the lion? The lion is the animal. You will find it everywhere in Lucerne. It's an animal will fight until the end. It's an animal who never, never, never give up. The statue commemorates the brave Swiss soldiers killed far from home defending King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette during the French Revolution. There's something so sad about it, but it's so beautiful as well. I can't stop looking at it. The other thing I can't stop looking at in Switzerland are the famous mountains. And being Switzerland, no trekking gear is required to get up top. Simply buy a ticket on a gondola. Sometimes the best way to learn about a new city is to step back and get a totally different perspective. Let's go. The legendary Mount Pilatus is part of the Swiss Alps and the Dragon Ride Aerial Cableway takes you to the top in no time. It's actually a really fun way to look into everyone's backyards too. Although not included in your scenic itinerary, this is definitely something I recommend in your free time. You even get a pit stop halfway up. So we started in Lucerne. We've trekked our way up to Fracmunteg, where we're currently enjoying a little musical interlude. Then we will get back on the gondola and we will end up 2,132 metres above sea level. Here we go. This is not just a tourist experience. Mount Pilatus is Lucerne's backyard playground where 
People hike, ski or just hang out. But for me, this is about both the journey and the destination. Well, OK, so it's, it's, you've got to be brave for this, all right? Because you can feel your ears popping, you can feel your stomach dropping. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Can you believe that at the top there's a hotel you can stay in? Or you can just step back and soak in the view. For me, this is a real life pinch me moment. We are at cloud level looking over the Swiss Alps and at minus two degrees it's breathtaking for quite a few reasons. <laughs> Welcome back to Getaway, where I'm exploring Switzerland on a curated river cruise extension, courtesy of Scenic. We've arrived in Bern. Unlike Zurich, which is the financial capital of Switzerland, full of stylish people and a fast-paced lifestyle, Bern is the actual capital of Switzerland, full of stately buildings. But life here moves at a much slower pace. Bern does chilled with a capital C. Unlike Zurich and Lucerne, Bern isn't on a lake. Rather, it's built into the crook of the Ara River. Bern is synonymous with bears. They feature on the city seal, and the plural of bears is Bären. Here at the Bern Bear Pit, we're not always guaranteed to see our furry friends, as it's their choice where they wander. Teresa, I'm quite happy that there are no bears in the bear pit. Yeah, me too. And since 2009, they have the nice park behind there for the three bears left. 6,000 square metres with swimming pool. But for ages, they were living in pits because the first bear came to Bern in 1513. So the bear story has more than 500 years. Like other cities in Switzerland, ornate drinking water fountains are found throughout the city. But some of the ones in Bern are a little, shall we say, scary. Why is he eating the kids' heads? Well, the fountain was made yeah, at the middle of the 16th century, and the sense then was to make children afraid. So is that to make the children do what their parents say? Sure. sure. I think I need to bring my kids here. Yes. <laughs> Bear pits and child-eating giants. I'm probably painting the wrong picture of Bern here because this is really a relaxed city where time takes a slower pace. Well, we are halfway through our Swiss adventure and I've deliberately waited until now to show you a Swiss clock. Now, it's not just any clock, it's the authoritative clock in Bern, which means that all clocks are set to this one. We're going in here. Gorgeous. Built in 1191, Bern's clock tower is as old as Bern itself. This one's right on time. It's right on time. Mario, this is an amazing machine and it's all mechanical, no electricity. That's true, isn't it? It's fascinating. How does it work? It works with my muscles. <laughs> okay. So once a day, uh, somebody has to be here and uh, wind up these four works. Albert Einstein even attributes the Bern clock tower in inspiring his theory of relativity. But please don't ask me the details. As part of scenic Switzerland extension, guests stay at the stunning Bellevue Palace Hotel. Dating back over 150 years, this grand hotel is the epitome of old school luxury. This is the sort of hotel that you would see in a Bond movie. It's the official guest house of the Swiss government, so it's full of politicians, diplomats, maybe even spies. Can I have a martini shaken, not stirred? No, I'm just kidding. I can't drink that. Just a gin and tonic, please. <laughs> Oh, you can charge this to room 007, please. <laughs> Switzerland has long been the playground for the rich and powerful.
At about 90 minutes from Bern is one of the most exclusive alpine villages in the world. What do Princess Diana, Madonna and Elizabeth Taylor all have in common? They all loved to spend their winters here in Gestad. This is the place where the seriously rich and famous come to stay and play. So Elsie, you know I want to hear some famous names drop from your mouth. Who lives here? Well, Julie Andrews has a house and <sighs> comes by quite a lot. Roger Moore has a house. Oh, that's His a good one. has it now. That's a yeah, good one to right. drop. <laughs> Gestad is car free. There are no high rises and any new houses have to be built in the traditional Swiss chalet style. I can imagine in winter that Gestad would be sparkling at night with all the fairy lights and a little bit of après ski and hot chocolates. Yeah, there is a very special ambiance where the snow is here. It helps a lot. But our region is also very nice the whole year round. In the springtime and the summer, it gets very, very green. There are a lot of mountain likes around where you can swim, you can hike, you can bike. There is a lot to do. Welcome back to Getaway and my final stop on my curated scenic Switzerland river cruise extension, Montreux. And what better place to call home for a few days than the iconic Fairmont Le Montreux Palace. If you close your eyes and imagine a luxury Swiss hotel, this is pretty much it. Dating back to 1906 with its Belle Epoque architecture and lake views, it is simply stunning. The hotel is perfectly situated with views over the lake and mountains. And in July, it's right in the heart of the famous Montreux Jazz Festival, which dates back to 1967. Europe is full of so many statues, but these ones, quite contemporary, George. Yes, Ella Fitzgerald, Ray Charles, BB King. And it's not just jazz musicians who love the place. Queen recorded six albums here, with Freddie Mercury saying, if you want peace of mind, come to Montreux. George, it's so peaceful here and it's really still. Yes, today we are very lucky. No waves because there is not air, because we have the mountain that protect Montreux. So for this, the climate here is fantastic. We have full of flowers and every kind of trees and they call the Swiss Riviera. One of the simplest and best ways to enjoy Montreux is to stroll along the promenade next to Lake Geneva. Known as the Flower Path, there is beauty, art, and even castles around every corner. Since 1005 AD, the Chateau de Chillon has sat on the shores of this lake, the picture-perfect backdrop to magical Montreux. It's the most visited historic building in Switzerland. It's kind of like Switzerland's pin-up castle. To get to the top of Montreux, you can either make like a Swiss mountain goat and hike your way up, or you can relax, take the train and absorb these incredible views. Today, I'm heading over the mountain to a little village famous for its traditional organic cheese. Le Chalet makes cheese the old fashioned way, heating the milk over a wood fire with liberal amounts of elbow grease. This is such an authentic experience, organic milk turning into organic cheese from someone who's had this craft handed down to them from generation to generation. It's just such a beautiful thing to experience. The cheese is pressed into a mould, then aged for up to 12 months. Would you like to taste it? <laughs> yes. mm, that is superb. Blessed Good are the that. cheese makers. Veve is a short 15 minutes from the centre of Montreux and the Charlie Chaplin Museum is kind of like Graceland, only classier. This is the house that Chaplin lived in after being exiled from the US and it's been lovingly transformed into an interactive experience that is well worth a visit. 
The Europeans really know how to do museums. This is an intimate look at Chaplin's life, from relaxed photos of him with his family to his famous friendships with politicians, actors and writers. So not only do we learn about Charlie Chaplin, but also the changing times that he lived through. Discover the hidden wonders of Europe in 2023. With Scenic, you'll experience the ease of smaller group travel with enriching moments and included scenic free choice activities, offering true insights into Switzerland's culture, history and landscapes. Getaway viewers can save $300 per person with an exclusive voucher. Plus, fly in 2023 from $995 per person when combining a land journey with a Europe river cruise. To request your voucher, visit scenic.com.au forward slash getaway, call 1300 790 372 or speak to your nearest Scenic Travel Advisor.